All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. All right, I got the uh, zippered pistol case out here. We're gonna take a look at the 1911. I placed it in oil to let it soak to see if it would bring back some of the color. Looking back at my previous videos and footage from this, I did this on January the 2nd on or about. This is March the 10th. I didn't pick that date for the calendar or any other reason other than I just picked today because I had a chance to shoot this. Um, I will say that I opened uh, the storage area and got it out maybe three weeks ago. And the first thing I noticed when I pulled it out was just a strong smell of CLP. So the CLP did leak through the first two bags and I ended up putting it in a third. I didn't get anything out, but you can really smell it. And I mean, I've already got it all over my hands. So the triple bag didn't work. I would definitely recommend if you have access to uh, something that'll vacuum seal a bag, I would definitely go that route. This is just gonna be a two month status and see because it sure looks like on the bags a lot of oil is moving around and not actually soaking the gun but looking at each piece and I've got a an old rag here on standby look at the barrel if you know what CLP smells like it's definitely very strong I know some folks use frog lube and all these other things well, there's a million different solvents and cleaners out there that you can use for a gun. That's what I went with. I did have a commenter say that they tried this or were going to try it with motor oil. I guess that'd be a pretty good idea too. This just feels kind of odd to me because I don't store firearms this way normally. And this is definitely out of practice for me. My typical practices here is everything else still in the bag the magazine the grips the spring the uh, firing pins in there with its spring and the grip screws I left that aside it just seems seems a little odd I don't normally store firearms disassembled so and you can see just uh, you can see just the way I stored it each piece is pretty covered uh, maybe at the end, I'll take a swab and run it down inside where the firing pin sits and see how well the oil actually penetrated into there. My number one concern in doing this was that I do like to shoot this gun from time to time, and I've actually bought ammo since then that I plan on shooting through it. I'm going to give it a real good clean. I'm just going to wipe enough oil off so that I can hold it without getting residue, too much excess residue all over the place. Not long after I published the first video, my friend and fellow YouTube creator Atlantic Products and I spoke about this whole ordeal. He informed me that there are two different methods of parkerization on these guns, and my 1911 may not experience a drastic change in appearance. That was a fact that was shared with me in the CMP forums. Here I added clips from my 1911 unboxing video, the way it looked, fresh from the shipping case, all natural. It's really tough to tell anything definitive with such a different lighting, but so far Atlantic products hit the nail on the head. I don't think my 1911 is going to respond to the oil bath the way I thought of or hoped. One of the earlier parkerization methods would absorb oil well, but if it were reparked when it went through arsenal, it likely wouldn't go through any transformation. It's worth saying though, even though I'm shooting this in 4K, it's just tough to tell the difference on a camera versus with the naked eye, just lighting differences and everything else. I've got a window open here, so I'm using natural light. It's causing a lot of reflection, especially off this grease, but we will keep this up, probably do another follow-up, maybe towards the end. I might leave it in there for six months or so and see what it ends up looking like versus where it was, where this all started. But for now, at least for now, I'm going to put her back into storage and leave it that way. We'll put everything back in here, and I guess I put the big stuff in first. But that is a concern. I didn't really think about that in the beginning, I guess. I may have to leave the frame out to let the excess oil run out for a little while before I shoot it again once I get it final, finally cleaned and inspected and put back together. Mm -hmm. 